All green lights, everything's a go Money on the table, count it real slow Pull up that rosé, twist up that Cali drove When you hustle hard, no matter what is the info what it do, see Sun Doolis? It's your boy Wife Jim Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, before I start, I just came from the movies. I just seen Taken 2, and let me tell you, it was a very, very great movie. I don't think it was better than the first one, but you know it was very great. But I'm here to talk about the UFC fight, baby. Anderson Silver versus Stephen Bonner. It was a good fight for the moment. But before I get started, let me take a drink. Y'all know what I drink. That absolute on deck. Hold on one second. And no, this ain't no damn water. I don't, I don't play like that. I'm a drinker, so I drink. Hold on. Oh. Whew. Also, let me give a shout out to my homie, um, Eat That Pussy. Check out his YouTube page. I can't think of, is Eat That Pussy, I can't think. It's Eat That Pussy 445. Go check out his YouTube page, man. He a diehard Eagles fan like me. Cool dude. Funny dude, especially when he do his rants about the Eagles, especially if they lost or whatever. Cool dude. Uh, big shout out for him for subbing to my page. Appreciate it. Showing me the love. Hit me up on Twitter and stuff. Big ups to you, homie. And hopefully them Eagles will win this Sunday. They better fucking win. You know I got a video, and I know you're going to have a video. But um, one more. Let me get one more taste. Some good shit, y'all. Absolute. Check it out, man. Good shit. Little bottle. But um, anyway, this is some light work for Anderson Silver. Um, Silver, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys knew that, you know, he was probably gonna win this. Now, even though Stephen Brown, he's a big, big, strong dude, you know. And me personally, I was saying he would be able to take a lot of Anderson Silver's Anderson Silver punches. But hey, at the end, we know the outcome. But um, you know, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, people. This is the third time um El uh, Anderson Silver, the went up to the light heavyweight. I believe it's the third time now, and all three times we, the man is a beast. He dominated, but um, yeah. So he basically knocked um, Broner Bonner out in the first round with like 20 seconds to go in the match. Uh, you know, Bronner, he had him up against the cage for a little bit, the majority of the fight, um, giving him some good punches. You know, he had him up to the fence, giving him some good punches. But with all you know that going on, Anderson Silver. The beast that he is, he stood tall, took the punches, and did what he was supposed to do. He ended up um, backing him out, and um, you know, doing what he do best, hitting him with some with some nice little punches and stuff like that. And the next thing you know, boom, he had him up against the fence. Boom, gorgeous knee to the body, gorgeous, gorgeous knee to the body. That right there hurt. Bonner and knocked him down the ground. Referee seen that he couldn't, he was hurting in pain. Referee called the fight off. Boom. That was it. Fight was over with. With like 20 seconds to go in the match. The fight was over with. And Anderson Silver do what he does best win. Now, you know, with this victory, I hope and pray that this can happen because I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to see him and John Jones fight. That would be the dream matchup, you know. Of course, you know, John Jones is younger. We know that he's tall, lean, talented, skilled. Just like Silver, he's skilled also. I would love to see that match happen, man. John Jones either, you know, drop down to to, to Silver's weight or either Silver. No, well, he said he ain't going to fight in this, um, this class no more. But um, that would be a great, great match. I would love to see that. But, um, yeah, you know, Anderson Silver said he would not fight in the light heavyweight class no more. The only reason why he did it because he wanted to save the UFC 153 um, um you know, fight. Basically, the the main event, the guy that was supposed, to, the, the match that was supposed to be the, the main event. Um, let me see, what was his name? Um, Jose Aldo in the featherweight class. He got hurt, and that was supposed to be he was supposed to be in the main event fight. So Silver, he wanted to save that, so he just decided to take the fight and to to fight um, Stephen Bonner, which was a good thing, a good showmanship on him because you know he stepped up, he loved his job, he loved what he do, he stepped up. And, um, you know, just to say, you know, the UFC event. And that was a good look. But, um, yeah, man. So, if I'm not mistaken, um, what is he, 33 and 4 or 31 and 4 now? Something like that, Silver? I'm not really sure. 
It's, 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 it's something like that. I'm not really sure. You guys let me know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I do know this is the 17th time that he didn't won in front of in front of his home fans. That is a that is very, very great, man. Very, very good. But um, it's not too really much to talk about, man. Anderson Silva did what he was supposed to do, man. Win. I mean, it wasn't no rounds to really get in, into too much detail about. I mean, Bon Bonner, he was hitting him with some good stuff, had him up against the cage. Silva kept his calm, kept his composure, got him up, backed him off, put him on the fence, did what he did. Boom, need him, dropped him, had him curling like a little baby. That was it. But, um, yo, I'm about to get out of here, man. I'm hot as hell. I'm about to take a shot. Y'all comment, subscribe, favorite, tell me, you know, tell a friend, tell a friend about me. Um, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, hit me up, man. Chat with me. I'm here. Um, and once again, shout out to Eat That Pussy 445. Good dude. And, um, that's it, man. And, oh, don't forget. Get y'all some absolute vodka. I'll get you some Ciroc. Very, very great. I'm going to take one more sip. And shout out to Into the Arenas, T Streets. I love that page, man. I love his page. And uh, shout out to all my homies. Body Bag, Fallon 3, The Homeless Gun, Stacks Montana, Snow Goons. Um, everybody that fuck with me, I fuck with y'all. Peace.